For years, this factory made Christmas tree lights. But now, workers at Rada Hung take waste products from electronics manufacturers all over Asia and extract pure tin from it in the form of ingots, which are later resold for a profit. Chen Kui Hung is one of two brothers who own the factory. He showed me around. This is a it kind of seems like you're milking tin cows right now. No? Okay. Chen Kui Yuan, the other brother, told me about the business of recycling tin. How many ingots do you make? Ten tons of tin every single day. Every, every day. Every day. How much is a single ingot of tin worth? So, business is doing well. The factory is one of Apple's suppliers, and Apple has made a point of using recycled tin in its phones. Because using metals that are mined directly from the earth isn't great for the planet, and often for people. The tech company declined to comment for this story, however. The Taiwanese government has injected massive amounts of money into building a recycling industry. So the Rada Hung business model is one they can get behind. Yang Feng Chi runs a division of the government that's responsible for sustainability. We the government's efforts have been working. Today, Taiwanese people produce, on average, just under two pounds of waste each, every day. That's three times less than Americans. But Taiwan's success with recycling hasn't really been recognized by the international community, largely because they haven't been part of the United Nations since 1971. And repeated attempts to rejoin have been blocked by China, which claims Taiwan as part of its territory. 在這個相關的一些國際組織的統計或者是一些這個案例的去尋找,基本上是不會以台灣為這個算是統計的這個區域。我們希望說我們可以把我們在台灣的成功的經驗去推廣到其他的國家,去幫助其他國家去做好的資